Brian has a guest. I'm sure a guy will probably not see with his shirt off. Um, but uh, Brian, <laughs> maybe you can dare him. <laughs> Goodness, Mabel. Uh, um, uh, so uh, I, let me just disclose this to my, my guest. Guests, uh, yes, please. And, uh, you know, um, she says that she would prefer looking at you with your shirt off. <laughs> oh, man, uh. hold it. All right, he's the king of Moyo in Uganda. We're going to be finding out what Moyo means because he has followed this up with the album itself yeah. called Moyo. And uh, I just see so many pictures, but it's quite interesting to see him with glasses when he was young. Moyo Skiria in the building, that's coming up on Everyday Life. Everyday Life is brought to you by ICEA Group. Maurice Kiria, a pleasure, man. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you coming. For we are the first show to... To interview me about the album. About the album. <laughs> Exclusive, Exclusive here. Exclusive. You, you call yourself the king of Moyo. What exactly is Moyo? Moyo is Ugandan soul music. And uh, it's a blend of R&B soul and Ugandan sounds. It's mm -hmm. something I tried to experiment with in 2009. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I had a follow-up album, which was uh, called The Book of Kyria. Mm -hmm. And finally, I released an album called Moyo, which brings the whole sound in one album. Your artwork has pictures from when you're with, a, with every <laughs> hairstyle, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, is, that, is it representative of the journey that you're taking through this as, music? As much as most people would say it looks like a transformation, mm -hmm. I would say it's, it's representing the different styles and the genres and the the type of person I have been or I have become to create that kind of music. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, uh, so many songs, uh, and, and of course we asked some of your fans uh, yeah. to send in questions. And one of the people asked, what, what is actually your target audience? Because you hit us with border border, and we're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you hit us with some, something that looks, this should be listened to by people that go to the jazz safari. You know. To be honest, uh, I think because I started as a hip-hop artist, uh, I'm still a very young so man. So you can rap? <laughs> no, I suck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, because I've had to, to do a lot of hip-hop, R&B, and then I have to, uh, I've had to play a lot of instruments, mm -hmm. my, my target, my, my target mm -hmm. uh, is you have the older people, the middle age, the younger people. I, I've been fortunate that all ages can actually tap into my music. For example, yesterday at my release party, we had people of all ages. We yeah. had people all the way to 17 years old mm -hmm. and people all the way to maybe 45. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, speaking of the launch party, you, you, you decide not to do like what every artist does. You decide to put it at, you know, your business and, and everyone, even those who didn't know about your music were mm. there. Was that the, the motive? Or? You know, it's, it's no use if people can't get to know about your music. Uh, and for me, I, I feel like people need to let the music sink in. And that's why I do release parties, press conferences, listeners parties. Yeah. So people get to appreciate the music. I, do, I wouldn't want someone to pay at the door mm -hmm. for music they don't know. I want them to come and just buy the album and experiment with it and grow with it. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about the music itself. Yeah. Your inspiration, you, you've had amazing songs like Nisubao. Woy, you know, when you are seeing Woy, someone was animating. Uh, <laughs> Woy! And they're, and they're on the floor and they are crying. That, th that seems to be music that is personal, but, but do you have sources of inspiration? Like, would you go to the beach and think, mm, let me sing about water? Uh, actually, I'll tell you one thing. I, I, I'm a very good listener. Through listening to different people, I get to put myself in their shoes or I might use my own life experience. But I believe that before a song goes out to the public, I have to believe in the story. Mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to connect with the music before anyone else connects with the music. Yeah. I have to, it's like selling a lie. You have to believe the lie to mm -hmm. sell it as truth. Mm -hmm. Your new album. Yeah. Um, my new album is a... Uh, I love, I love the, the video that you premiered and we'll be playing it later. Yeah, never been loved. That's never been out. Yeah. That whole experience. Mm -hmm. Tell us about some of the songs and what they're, they're actually. Uh, it's a very interesting album because it brings out uh, 
so many things that I never did in the other album. And it's a very honest album. I talk about things that you wouldn't ordinarily expect a musician to actually sing about in a song. But I wanted people to listen and say, he is not just singing, he's actually speaking to us. He's not just putting lines together, but he wanted us to connect with the stories. I want people to, that even if they just read the words or if they listen to the music, it's beyond just a song or a melody. I want mm. it to be a communication with mm. everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. What songs are on this album? Your, your favorite song on the album? I, I think my favorite song is, uh, it's called Nkoye. Mm -hmm. And uh, it talks about me saying, you know what, it's time. I, I guess it's time to settle down. Uh, I guess we've broken enough hearts now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sample, sample, right? sample. Oh, my voice is so croaky this early morning, yeah. but I, I hope everybody gets to yeah, yeah. get the album and Oh, you, check so it you're out. not going to see um, Morris. This would be this would be a crime, right? He needs to say, so. can you see the ladies that are standing Maybe here? Maybe in my croaky voice, I'll try to sing "Never Been Loved." Yeah. Hey, baby, it will take a lifetime for us to be over. sweet baby. I'm not singing to you. Heaven will sing with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, go to our Facebook page, Morning at NTV. You can also tweet us at Morning at NTV. I'm with Maurice Kiria following uh, the release of his album, Moyo. And uh, you can ask him any questions that you have, and uh, he will answer them here. Maurice, um, from, from the way you handle your fans, yeah. uh, is this stuff that you, you know you learn somewhere? I know most of your music also features, you know, in Europe. A lot of that features in Europe. Your tweets seem a lot personalized. You don't have a lot of beef going on. Yeah. Is that something that you deliberately do, or you're just a I, guy who is? To be honest, I, I'm glad you see it that way. I, I try to, I try to remain as simple as much as I'm, I'm a celebrity when I go out in the streets and everything. Mm -hmm. I try to keep level-headed, I try to keep my head on my shoulders, but most importantly, I try to treat people the way I want to be treated. Mm -hmm. And uh, because those are, those are the things that inspire me. If, if I carry myself on a level that is not humane anymore, then I will lose the plot of what I'm trying to communicate with the crowds. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I have prepared a few questions here. Yes. Uh, no, th no hesitation, you're going to answer them as they come. Ooh. Boom, boom, boom. First question. How many hearts have you broken? A few, uh, <laughs> but not too many to get me to hell. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been heartbroken? I have. I have, actually. You remember her? Oh, like it was yesterday. If you're watching right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's in trouble. I hope She's you got the point. <laughs> <laughs> She's in trouble. What do you think about the beef that is going on with other musicians? It's, um, it's not necessary. I think we can do so much with love. Mm -hmm. And it's not just something I'm saying because it's a nice thing to say, but it has worked for me. And I, I've, been, I've been in the game for 12 years. Or, uh, for 12 years. Mm -hmm. and, and I was fairly big from back then. And I've never had to fight anyone. I just think we could promote more love than hate. Right. It's easy. You're, you're, you're not just an artist. You've been able to also open a restaurant. Yeah. Uh, is this something that also uh, comes as you grow in, in, in the music? Because uh -huh. most artists will rely on their music, and that's it. That's where they are. But you also exhibited an entrepreneurial side to yeah. you. Too. Uh, apart from love and business, I, I also once was a waiter. <laughs> So I have done quite a lot of uh, jobs, but I'm also passionate about food and service. It felt right, uh, right in the kind of person I am. Mm. Yeah. All right. For the first time ever on Ugandan TV or the world over? The world over. Actually. The world over. <laughs> It starts here. Yeah. You, you watched it first on morning at NTV mm -hmm. exclusive. Please introduce this song. Hey, what's up? My name is Maurice Kiria, and right now you're about to watch my latest video, and it's called Never Been Loved. Yeah, if we'll let it be, and I will make you feel like you've never been loved before. Cause I will give you love like you've never been loved before. And I will make you feel like you. you've never been loved. And I will make you feel like, yeah, oh, 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 and I 
will make you feel like I feel like you've never been loved Cause I'll forever ever give you love Like you never had Like a blessing from above I will always shower you with love Feel like you've never been loved Cause I'll forever ever give you love Like you never had Like a blessing from above I will shower you with love I will make you feel like You've never been loved Cause I will give you love like You've never been loved before And I will make you feel like You've never been loved before Cause I will give you love like You've never been loved before I will make you feel Like you've never been loved Like you've never been loved I will make you That is a sample of the video. We want you to go out and buy it, so we won't <laughs> play all of it. What was the inspiration for that video? Yesterday at the launch party, someone was saying, hey man, this guy has turned Marina Forest into the Amazon. <laughs> huh? I, I just With wanted mirrors to... in the forest. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I wanted to just have a beautiful video uh, that portrayed women beautifully, but also to, to have a song that any lover can connect with, mm -hmm. you know? I just wanted a simple love song. Right. Yes. Where do you see yourself in, in probably the next five years? Um, you know, the last time I said something like that, I was wrong about so many it things. It never happened. Uh, it always turns out in a very interesting way, but I hope that I can be 10 times bigger than what I am and be able to inspire many other people with my music. But I hope to also grow as an artist, mm -hmm. to be able to create new genres uh, or to find new avenues that can just spread me out as an artist. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to be great. Mm -hmm. uh, someone was asking, you plan on getting married? Yeah, yeah um, definitely. Kampala's most eligible bachelor, Maurice Kiria. If you're there, <laughs> and you think I qualify for the kind of man you need, <laughs> let's not waste time. <laughs> I am here. So you're also an actor. You are in the hostel and boom, everyone was shocked. Maurice Kira is an actor. Uh, actually, Talk acting is my first love. Uh -huh. You know, I wanted to be an actor before I wanted to be a musician. Mm -hmm. My whole family was into music, so it came naturally, too naturally, that we never thought about it. Mm -hmm. So I always thought about the things that challenged me, which acting is one of the most challenging things I've ever done. But I've had the opportunity of featuring in a couple of movies. Uh, and, uh, and TV series as well. What is your most memorable experience as, you know, a moment as, as, as an actor, career, as an actor, as a musician? I think. Do you have moments that you definitely treasure and say, if it wasn't for this one, or even any collaborations that mm. you've done, say, wow, this was magic. I would say it was my first lead role uh, in a movie called The Painter. Mm -hmm. That moment where you realize you are the lead role and everything is going to be looking at you. And if you, if you don't, if you're not good enough, you will drop everyone with you. Yeah. And uh, the tension and the excitement, I was nervous all the time, but I managed to pull it off. So mm -hmm. I will always remember my first lead role. And music. What about music? Any, any collaborations that you've done? So I, well, have I have worked with Ryonga, mm -hmm. Michael Uma on the album. And so Ryonga is a rapper, of course. Yeah. And then Michael Uma is an instrumentalist. I try to bring different genres into the album as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Morris Kira, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sparing thank your you time. For having me. I know you had a late night. I you, did. You know. two, I haven't slept for two nights. Wow. But I will eventually. All right. Is, is this going anywhere? Are you taking this to uh, uh, Nairobi or uh, something? Yes, we will be doing different parties in Nairobi. Actually, I'll be flying out on Sunday. Nairobi, Chigali, New York, and Paris. But on top of that, we want to do regional tours where we go to every place in, in Uganda and just meet the fans, sing for them. Make sure they get the album, make sure they get the album. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where can, can people get the album? Uh, people can get it at the Sound Cup, Good African Coffee. They can buy it online, iTunes, Amazon. Yeah. But if people go to my website, mauricecuria.com, or go to my Facebook, they'll find all the details anywhere, whether you're in Entebbe, Jinja, Ambarara, right. there is a place where you can find the album. Just go to our pages and check it out. All right. Yeah. Well, there you have him, uh, Maurice Kiria, the king of Moyo. I, I, <laughs> dude, you have to sample us something. Dude, come on. <clears throat> All right. Just, just go for it. Hey, baby, it will take a lifetime for us to be your sweet baby. Heaven will sing when we have each other. You don't have to fear. 
goes, I will make you feel, and I will make you feel like you've never been loved before. But you don't have to feel like you've never been loved before. Now hit me with Miss Ubawa. I love that song. I love it. Uganda ain't your mother. Katunda mani chichali tinkera. Julie Miss Ubawa. Akabiriti kamuli mungaro. Atukoleza nasi kiri zembuya kasi rebe tuzikiza ko. Eji sera chiri chuka li songolo muma ngomu fui walua atuzikize. Eji sera chiri chuka. Ali tuzi kiso yo vuche tuli misubawa tuake chicha tutonde. Thank you, Maurice. Pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. The rest of you, we'll leave you with this well sneak peek into Never Been Loved, and that's the new video for Maurice Kia. Take a look at it. When we come back, I'll be asking Aisha whether she's ever been loved. Yeah, Aisha, have you ever? Yeah, she has. All right. <laughs> okay. And uh, that will be going on. Okay, I've been told that you have uh, some questions here from your fans. Oh, yeah, let sure. me quickly I'll, go I'll be very through happy it. To answer them. My producer is killing me, so let me do that now <laughs> uh, before I let you go. All right. Um, Maurice Kiria. All right. Maurice Kiria, what does the sound cup mean? Uh, the Sound Cup is a restaurant uh, that I own and it's very passionate about food and music. We like to support the arts, but we also like to make sure people get good food and great service. I saw you, you, had, you have a Rolex. Yes, we are, we are the kings of Rolex. I'm the king of Moir, but we are the kings of Rolex. <laughs> Patra has ever I had to show that. up on that. <laughs> All right, do you, do you, are you training any people to sound like you actually, even when you're Actually, gone? I am guiding so many artists not to sound like me, but to, to sound like them and even better. Because I believe Uganda has a lot of talented uh, young people that need the push. And uh, I try to get with, in, in touch with people on Facebook, talk to them, give them some answers, or meet them at the Sound Cup, or just feature them in some of the work I do. All right. Yeah. Let him take his shirt off. No, come on. This is, no, this is national television. We can't do this. Look at them all. <laughs> no, I'm not, I am not taking my shirt. Okay, this is <laughs> never been loved. That's the video from Maurice Kia. Maurice, go. Thank go. you. Look at them. Fine, Yeah, if we'll let it be, and I will make you feel like you've never been loved before. Cause I will give you love like you've never been loved before. And I will make you feel like you've never been loved and I will make you feel like, yeah, oh, 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 and I will make you feel like, I feel like you never been loved, cause I'll forever ever give you love, like you never had, like a blessing from above, I will always shower you with love, feel like you never been loved, cause I'll forever ever give you love, like you never had, like a blessing from above, I will shower you with love, I will make you feel like, you never been loved, Cause I will give you love like you've never been loved before And I will make you feel like you've never been loved before Cause I will give you love like you've never been loved before I will